We're all guilty of doing it, using the internet to self-diagnose a medical condition. But as doctors advise, there are pros and cons to searching the web. UCSF Fresno Emergency Medicine, Dr. Jessica Mason explains. The internet has been really helpful in allowing the public to be more informed about their own medical conditions and be able to keep current and ask intelligent questions and it really helps people just sort of stay in touch with what's going on with their health conditions and their bodies. So I think when it gets to the point of self-diagnosis, then we have some potential concerns, some potential for harm. But in general, I think the internet's a really good thing. Patients who read up on their symptoms before they come into the emergency department or their doctor's appointments, they're making an effort to learn about themselves and to try to ask good questions and be a good patient. And I think most physicians really respect that. And most of the time it, it lends itself to a more informed conversation. It can have downsides though. If someone comes in and, for example, if someone comes into the emergency department and says, I have kidney pain. Well, you've narrowed it down to the exact organ, but that may not be at all what's going on with you. You might have a thousand other different problems and that's what I'm trained to do is to help sort that out and figure it out. So I like to start with symptoms. What's going on with you? Tell me your symptoms rather than the organ that you think is bothering you. There are some websites that are more reputable. So I would like to direct people towards Medline Plus, which is a government website. Of course, the CDC. These are reputable sources where you can get information. But I think it's more helpful once you already have a diagnosis and you're trying to learn more about treatment options or complications. Starting from the question of what do I have, these are my symptoms, it can really lead you, the internet can really lead you in some strange directions that may be completely irrelevant. I don't think it's harmful to look things up before you go in, even if you don't know what's going on with yourself and you start by searching abdominal pain, which could be a million different things. But I think looking things up has a more important role once you do have a diagnosis and you're trying to learn more about that condition and the treatment and how you can take better care of yourself. Stay open-minded about what you read on the internet and use that as a starting place to have a conversation with your doctor rather than going in and saying, this is what I have.